Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So today is an exciting video. Like this is my super anticipated video ever on my channel and it is my mom collection. So this is gonna be a super lengthy video as well. So go grab yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit so you can just relax with me whilst I go through my mom collection with you guys. So my mom collection is filled with series that I love. So I'll say 95% series in my collection. I can vouch for that is either series I'm excited to read for or I have read read loads of times or it's just my all-time favorite um and then that five percent i have in my collection would be series that will be unhauling which you guys will see last as they are at the bottom of the shelves but yeah before we get on to this video please give this video a like comment subscribe you know you drill and click on the bell and feel free to use my affiliate links down below for amazon bright stuff and blackwells to help support this channel and its future giveaways whether you're buying books or manga and yeah so um there are a lot of series that i would recommend like i said this is basically 95 percent of my collection is series that I love also in my collection I do have about 750 volumes plus so yeah um, I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of my mom collection you guys probably saw it in my organization video but for those of you that are new um, you guys will see the breakdown again so with my mom collection it consists of a few shelves so this is a main Billy bookcase and a small and Billy bookcase and another small shelf at the back which you can see here and on the side I have a brown bookcase which you will see later but um yeah predominantly i'll say my mom collection has a lot of shoujo series and romance however i do have a few slice of life series that i would really recommend you guys to read as personally now as a reader i am more leaning towards more slice of life series or series that i can just i can just empathize with if that makes sense so another thing that i like to mention is that these two shelves hold more my popular series or series that are ongoing at the moment and my other two bookcases that you see later are more my classics and OG shoujo series and that stuff and yeah just like to mention that also this will be the last bookcases that I'll show you guys at the end of this video as I gotta say the best to last right but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I think by the time you guys are watching this will mark my one year anniversary on YouTube as well and I just want to say a big thank you for just all the love and support that you guys have given me like it's just, it's just so amazing I can't really express how I feel I feel I'm getting a bit teary but I just want to say how thankful I am as you guys have been the best like this past year has just been amazing like being on here being able to share my hobby has just been a lovely hobby if that makes sense as well as reading manga you guys helping my manga addiction but also being able to make friends with you guys and get to know you guys in the community as well and sharing all our favorite series and just opinions and that but yeah I just want to say a big thank you because without you guys I don't think my collection would would have grown this much as well as before I started this channel I had about 300 volumes and now I have 750 volumes as you guys have recommended me loads of great series that I'm just I'm ever so thankful because I have found some gems and yeah that is all from me for this little intro just saying my big thanks on that and I hope you guys enjoy this video literally sit back and relax and just enjoy with me <laughs> starting off with my first ever manga bookcase this shelf normally sits upstairs so you guys probably never seen this on unless you guys follow me on Instagram where I've updated you guys. So this used to hold around 200 to 300 volumes and I used to double stack this shelf to the brim so it was fully packed and this used to hold all my older series like Jojo but now this bookcase holds more of my older Shoujo's that I don't mind displaying upstairs instead of down here and yeah so this is what it looks like so first off i have the assassination classroom box set this is a series that i haven't read yet you've probably seen in my recent haul right off the bat you can see the spines are absolutely beautiful i'm still debating whether i should add this onto my bookcase but at the same time i do like it in its box set but yeah you can tell the spines are super pretty and also the covers are very simple i just love how simple the art covers are and also i really like how the back there's always like a little panel here and that stuff but yeah I don't currently have any opinions about this series as I haven't read it yet but I'll let you guys know in my future wrap-ups but this is Assassination Classroom 
So with this little manga bookcase, it has three shelves. The first two shelves are the same size and the last one is a bit bigger, which you guys will see later. And it, this bookcase used to be jammed packed, but since I've moved around my collection, it has a few spaces. But yeah, one thing you will notice as well, a lot of my manga series I have in my collection, majority are complete as I hate having caps in my collection. Yes, I am that type of collector where I pick everything up in one go. Um, but yeah, the only time you will see gaps later is either ongoing series or series that are very popular that are hard to get um, but yeah so the first series you guys can see is butterflies flowers this is a Jose series that has smut and comedy but yeah to be honest with the series I feel like this could have been a full volume series rather than eight from what I can remember about this series, once I hit around volume 5, it did feel a bit dragged out, so I wish it was a bit shorter. But yeah, you can see here it says parental advisory, explicit content, so yeah, it does have quite a bit of smut and definitely a Jose series. But yeah, this is not a series that I tend to recommend as it is quite a hard series to collect and at the same time, I feel like it's not as enjoyable compared to my other Jose series. But yeah, sorry for starting off this video on a low, but um, yeah, this is a Jose series and it's complete. Then next you see is Strobe Edge. So Strobe Edge is by the manga Iyosaki Saka. You've probably seen a lot of her works in the community such as Love Me, Love Me Not, our Harry Ride. She has so many manga series that everyone loves, especially if you're a shoujo reader. But yeah, this is a series that I've had five years in my collection and I still haven't read. Um, but it is the typical high school romance, but I can't really say much about this series since I read it. So I do apologize if you wanted my opinion about it. But yeah, in the back of this, since it's double stacked, you guys can see I have volumes one to seven of Aishiteru Ze Baby. So this is a OG series that I don't really see anyone have this in their collection you can see it's very very yellow it's very old as well um, but yeah this is another series that I haven't read it's been sitting in my collection for more than five years now and um, yeah this is the one that I can't really say much so I do apologize that I'm unable to give my opinion on those I promise there are series later that I can give you my opinion on but right now it's not really doing a great start I apologize but yeah, next we have is Ultramaniac. So Ultramaniac is by the manga Wataru Yojizumi and she is one of my favourite OG shoujo mangas. However, a lot of her works that I love is not published in English, unfortunately. But the one she has published in English that I have is either Marmalade Boy or this series. Um, personally, I prefer Marmalade Boy a lot more than this as this is more catered towards a younger reader. I'll say if you're under 13, you would enjoy this, but reading this as an adult I didn't really enjoy this as much as it is a very young read so with Ultramaniac this is a sweet story about these two girls who are best friends one is a witch and one is a normal girl and with the witch she's kind of like a noob you know where she's not very good at making spells and she's always putting her best friend into predicaments as she wants to help her best friend um, get with this guy who she fancies and yeah it, it's just a fun series however this series is catered towards more of a younger audience so I'm not too sure if you're an adult and you want to collect manga would this be a good option to pick as I know a lot of people selling this manga currently on eBay but yeah this is kind of cheap actually if you want to collect this but um, yeah not something that I recommend unless you're under 13 so on to my next series that I own and that is Backstage Prince so this is a two volume series by the same manga as Blackbird, Kanoko, Sakura, Koji and her series are just great I love her art style I feel like not everyone a fan of her art style but personally I love this and oh we already got into a really pretty scene and some kissing oh god let me start from the beginning so this is her art style super super pretty and yeah I really like her series that's why I collected this as well since this series is only two volumes it is super short but at the same time it is quite an enjoyable read as it's about um this guy who's in Kabuki theatre but yeah that is the two volumes I have next I have the only manhwa that's in my collection and this is narration of love so let me just show you what they look like all the covers this this is a fun series that dives into the life of 
being a 17 year old I'll say. Um, I wouldn't recommend it as well even though I enjoyed reading the series back in the day this is quite an old manhwa so I don't think I'll recommend it to any of you guys that would like to collect this as I don't think it's possible <laughs> to collect this and this is reading from left to right so this is what it looks like the art style you can tell from the art style this is a pretty old manhwa but yeah that is um narration of love at 17. on to my second shelf we have sakura hime which the spines look absolutely gorgeous as you can see and this is my favorite volume cover art volume 10 look how gorgeous this looks with arena tanimura works a lot of her works are very cutesy and this is a fantasy series um since i haven't read this series for over eight years now i don't really remember what this series is about so I apologize that I can't really explain much but I did pick up volume 11 12 a lot recent as when I first started this channel you guys probably saw me picking these two volumes up as I had volume 1 to 10 for a very long time in my collection and it was never complete but I'm glad it's complete but probably one day I'll reread this series next we have is stepping on roses this is one of my all-time favorite shoujo mangas so this is also complete and it has nine volumes this is my first ever manga series that I've ever bought and this really basically started off my manga collecting journey to be honest so this is what stepping on roses looks like the art style is super pretty and I just love the comedy aspects of the series as well and it's basically about this girl who is Sumi who is a poor girl who marries a rich man and you can see wife and they both get into a sham marriage together and you can see with the other volumes it's super gorgeous like but yeah this is a series that I don't really hear a lot of people talk about in the community probably because it's quite hard to get nowadays but it's still available to pick up on some websites like blackwells if you would like to pick the series up like i said this is one of my favorite shoujos so i would give this a solid 9 to 10 out of 10. yeah in the back we have happy hustle high this is also known as h3 in the community oh it's pretty dark actually let me see if i can brighten that up i'm not too sure with the light and does that make it better but we have Happy Hustle High. This is a five volume series and it is complete. So from what I can remember about Happy Hustle High or H3, this series is about this girl who goes to an all girls school and her girls school turned co-ed. So now there's more boys now. And I think she goes out with one of the popular boys in the school. And yeah, it's that typical romance, high school love, you know, and it's a, it was an enjoyable read from what I can remember. So so I definitely recommend anyone to pick this up. I have seen this series floating about on eBay quite recently as well. So this is a series that I recommend anyone to pick up. It's not bad actually. It's just a, it's just a typical shoujo. <laughs> so the next series we have is Absolute Boyfriend. So this series is by Yuwatase, who is a well-known OG shoujo manga. And one of my favorite works from her would be Sarah's Celestial Legend. But yeah, this is a series about a girl who has a robot boyfriend. I remember this series used to be super popular back in the day as this has many live adaptations such as Korean drama, Taiwanese drama and also Japanese drama and yeah this is a series about a girl who has a robot boyfriend and um, yeah it is a quite funny series however I wouldn't say this is one of my favourite Yuotase works however since it's a classic I will keep this in my collection. Um, another Yuotase work that I have of hers is Imadoki. I feel like this series I enjoy a lot more than Absolute Boyfriend probably because the romance just is more realistic compared to a robot boyfriend but yeah this is a five volume series and this is pretty much out of print unfortunately I'll say this shelf is pretty much hard to get unless you can get on eBay if you find a good deal but yeah this series is a sweet romance between the main two characters the guy and the girl and yeah it's just super lovable and I really enjoyed it with Imadoki I'll rate this a solid 8 to 9 out of 10 as this series I did enjoy reading as an adult not just a little girl compared to absolute boyfriend I feel like this series did age really well but yeah if you ever see this on eBay definitely pick this up as it is an enjoyable read so the next series we have is confidential confessions and this was published by Tokyo pop from the cover you can see sexual harassment prostitution rape 
suicide you can tell this series dive into a lot of societal problems that not a lot of manga especially back in the day talk about so yeah this is a series that is complete as well with six volumes unfortunately i only have five volumes as volume six is super hard to get it's probably running for over 100 pounds for that volume and i just don't have the budget for that but i'm pretty happy and content just having five volumes of the series as at the end of the day it is a super hard series to get on to my last shelf of this little bookcase you can see it is slightly bigger compared to my other two shelves at the top as I can put my manga horizontally so the first series you can see is Missile Happy I can't really say much about this series as I haven't read all of it but I'm planning to unhaul this as from the first volume everything just felt a little too rush rush personally I prefer series that are more easy to follow rather than rush rush as I don't know what's happening um, but you can see my original Tokyo Pop editions for Fruits Basket I do wish the spines for these two were red so yeah I do have the whole series of Fruits Basket all 23 volumes which um, is all lined up if I just remove all my Blackbird volumes and yeah this is definitely a prized possession in my collection and I think that's why I keep it upstairs I would like to put it downstairs but I feel like with the sunlight and that stuff it will just wash out the spines even more and I don't know if you can tell from the video the spines do look quite washed out as it is quite an old series I have mentioned before as well this is my first ever manga series that I've read that got me into reading manga and yeah i feel like the series has really aged well in my opinion but you might have different opinions as me but i think i'm biased with this one so um yeah that is 23 volumes of fruits basket i also had the fan book cat at the top here and then next we have is seven deadly sins so this is a series that i'm planning to unhaul as well as um i just haven't read it it has been in my collection for more than five years now as this was originally my brother's series that he collected when he was in uni i think my brother collected this definitely more than six years ago so probably seven or eight um so yeah that is seven deadly sins and since then i haven't read it so i'm not too sure if i want to keep it but i really like how the spines look when they're all lined up together it's, not, it's like a one big picture on to the lower level we have is blackbird this is a completed series it is a smart series it is fantasy full of yokai everything that i love in a series in a romance and um yeah 100 recommend you guys pick this up there is a box set if you guys want to pick this series up as i'll say that is the easiest way in collecting this series unless you find a good deal on ebay for second hand but yeah this is is blackbird um absolutely love this series with this series a lot of people would have thought that i picked this up because of the smart however i read this series for the romance as i absolutely love how kyo has an unconditional love for Masao. and you guys would know if you read this series like especially towards the end you yeah you 100 know what i mean but yeah it's a smutty series um i'm not too sure if it's down your alley but if it is 100 recommend you guys to read it next we have is mary puri another fantasy series i haven't read this series in probably like i'll say a good seven to eight years as well i haven't read this in a very long time um but i do have it in my collection and i remember enjoying it i feel like it gives me similar vibes as demon love spell which you will see later but yeah that is mary puri behind mary puri is another prior possession of mine in my collection i should really put it on display but it is kodocha so this is a 10 volume series and this is super hard to get as it's published by tokyo pop i wish volume 5 spine was the same as the rest but yeah this is a 10 volume series and it is by another favorite manga as my mio obana and the character development for kodocha is just it's just so heartwarming i don't know how to describe it like the characters in this series is super young however when you read it it's so heartwarming i remember crying not gonna lie reading this series and yeah it is super sweet and 100 a prior possession of mine in my collection if anyone has this in their collection i feel like they will feel the same way as how i feel about kodocha as it's just a lovely series i'm very bad at explaining but um yeah that is the first manga bookcase 
Alright, on to my brown bookcase now. This is where the fun starts as I'm going to show you guys very soon my main shelves. But yeah, this bookcase unfortunately you can't buy as this is built into the wall. But basically these are just plank of woods that's built into this little cubby, shall I say. But yeah, on the left you can see first series I have is Zodiac Pie. If you can't tell already, this is my Natsumi Ando works. So with my collection I've organised it either by mangakas or genre or demographic. The only way I haven't organised my manga is by colour as I think that would drive me nuts. So the first series I have by Natsumi Ando is Zodiac Pie. This is one of her first ever works. And yeah, I'm really glad I have this as I've mentioned before, this is one of my favourite shoujo mangas. And yeah, I haven't read this series in a long time so I don't really remember what it is. So this is a blurb. But anything by Natsumi Ando I pretty much enjoy um, as I'm biased. <laughs> if you haven't noticed already so the next series I have as well by the way this is a full volume series so it is complete next I have is Kitchen Princess this is a 10 volume series but luckily Kodansha has done it in an omnibus version so there's only four volumes for us to collect I have four volumes of the omnibus editions and they are thickens and I really love how the spine looks if you can see and also this is what volume 2 looks like and 3 and then volume 4 which is pretty snug right here. So yeah this is a series I've mentioned on my channel quite often where this is one of my favourite shoujos. It just has really great character development, it dives into grief, it dives into passion and I like how in this series the art style is beautiful by the way, let me just show you. I know from the looks of it the characters look really young, however as an adult rereading this, this is very enjoyable. I've probably reread this series probably over like 10 times now. Like I said, this is one of my favourite shoujo's, but yeah, I really like how the back of the omnibuses, even with the singles, they have recipes, which is shown in certain chapters, and I just really like that because it adds an extra touch to the series, and yeah, this is such a great manga series. In my eyes, is an absolute gem, and I would recommend it to any shoujo readers that's into romance, food, literally this is such a great series that even if you're a young reader or older reader you'll still enjoy this. So the next series I have next is Something's Wrong With Us. This is also by Natsumi Ando and this is an ongoing series. So this is actually a Jose compared to her other shoujo works. And this is an Enemies to Lovers series and there's just so much plot twist. So if you're into that, definitely go check this series out. This is also published by Kodansha. Next we have is Arisa and I do have this complete, all the volumes as at the back. If you can see, I just like organizing my manga like this. Sometimes Sometimes showing some of my volumes on display or just showing the spines but yeah this series is full of plot twists like too much plot twist to be honest so with this series Arisa it starts off quite sad as the twins does get separated and once they reconnected one of the girls who is called Arisa decides to commit suicide and her sister Sabasa this is Arisa by the way and her sister Sabasa tries to find out why her sister would want to do that with her life and it is quite sad you can see how loving they are as sisters this series is packed with mystery and I absolutely love this and um, yeah I don't think a lot of people talk about this a lot in the community as well but it is a series that you can still get so um, out of this this is a series that's hard to get Kitchen Princess you can still get on Amazon I feel like you can get pretty much anywhere still it's only four volumes so not a lot of commitment then something's wrong with us this is an ongoing series so it's pretty easy to get these volumes as well Arisa is I say it's still available to collect however it is starting to get onto the harder side so you might have to do a bit of digging but next we have is full moon this series is such a bittersweet romance and just it's, it's got so much character growth and character development even though this series look cutesy boy the stuff that it dives into it, it will make you cry like this is definitely a tearjerker series that I really recommend to anyone to read it's basically about this girl who's called Mitsuki and she's a 12 year old who has I think she has some sort of cancer I forgot what it is but it's something to do with her throat and her dream she aspires to be an idol and um, one day she meets these Shinigamis 
that um, enables to basically achieve a dream but it is a tragic story and at the same time very beautiful with full moon this is my favorite series by Irina Tanimura this beats all her other series like gentleman's alliance idol's dream like everything that she's created full moon is literally the best and I can't recommend this enough like if you haven't read this series definitely check it out by the way if I haven't mentioned already this brown bookcase is filled with my favorite shoujo series and jose and then the first manga book case that I showed you guys is filled with my older shoujos. Yeah this is the second shelf. You can see first off this book is not manga but the reason why I put this here is because this side tends to fall off very often and it needs to have like a book on top for it to stabilize so it doesn't fall off. So over here we have Carrie First Love and this is a 10 volume series that is complete and I've always said Carrie's First Love is literally the definition of shoujo. It's the typical high school romance where the popular guy goes out with the popular girl um, but to be honest with this series how it starts off Carrie actually looks like this and she had a glow up and she started going out with the popular guy which is him if you can see and yeah this is such a sweet romance and this really, really reminds me of some of Minami Kanan's work and Minami Kanan I've mentioned before she's one of my favorite mankas but unfortunately all her works are not published in English but if you are a French reader or German reader and also Spanish probably you can find some of her works as yeah her works are amazing but I'll show you guys later on my main bookcase but this is Carrie First Love like I said earlier this series is a typical high school romance and it is such an enjoyable read even reading this as an adult I really enjoyed this and yeah 100% recommend however this series is kind of hard to get I'm pretty sure it's actually out of print so yeah I don't know if you guys can pick this up but if you guys ever get a chance to pick this series up do so as this is literally like I said definition of shoujo next we have is Ceres the Celestial Legend so this is a 14 volume series and it's also complete and it is by Yu Watase this is one of my favorite Yu Watase works it's dark fantasy and I just love the romance I feel like this series it really depends because I'm quite biased so me rereading the series I really enjoyed it but I don't know what it's like for a first time reader reading this series as there are parts in the plot where it's just it doesn't really make sense however when I say this series is dark it is dark be prepared for death be prepared for just everything this is yeah this is a series that I really enjoy and it is a roller coaster of emotions in my opinion next we have is marmalade boy this is another prior possession of mine and this is complete in my collection you can see the spines are quite washed out unfortunately as it is a very old series but yeah this is what volume one looks like with marmalade boy this is a fun story with a very interesting plot following Miki with her high school life but yeah the story starts off with both her parents going on holiday with the Matsudas and both sides of the family decided to have a wife swap or partner swap should I say and they all end up remarrying and living in a big house with their son as well as well as Miki so you can imagine Miki starting off high school and just going through all those emotions already like it is is definitely an interesting series but yeah this series is unfortunately out of print however if you can get your hands on this definitely recommend finally on to my last shelf on my brand bookcase this is my Jose section so we have a few works from Maki and Joji which is one of my favorite Jose mankas her works I'll say is definitely the cheesier romances so if you're into that then go for it like her series are so enjoyable to read when it comes to Maki and Joji and her works I am a hundred percent biased especially with Happy Marriage as Happy Marriage is my first ever Jose series that I've read and if you remember what I mentioned earlier with Seven Roses one of my favorite tropes is the poor girl marrying the rich man I know such trashy taste I know but I just love it it's just so interesting and I love the drama that it has with the series and also with an incurable case of love like an incurable case of love is I think is even worse to be honest the story starts off with the main girl being in high school and she saw Dr. Tendo saving an elderly person that fainted and um, she basically fell in love and decided to pursue a career as a nurse and from then she wanted to confess her love to Dr. Tendo and turns out 
out Dr. Tendo was a complete jerk. And um, yeah, you just basically see how their comedic romance blossoms. And yeah, their, their romance is definitely trashy. But at the same time, both series, Happy Marriage and Incurable Case of Love, both have Japanese dramas. Personally, I prefer the Incurable Case of Love Japanese drama because me being biased, I love Takeru Sato, who is the main guy character who plays Dr. Tendo. And he is just... Mm, you know, chef kiss. <laughs> Next we have is Nana. So Nana can be considered as a Jose as well. To be honest, it is a shoujo, but personally I consider it as a Jose as it has too much mature elements for it to be a shoujo in my opinion. Um, it's got a lot of slice of life, music, drama, just everything that they touch upon is just super interesting. Um, that's why I consider it more of a Jose and just the characters seems to be much more mature, if that makes sense. Yeah, this series is super popular in the community, however, it's been on hiatus for I think more than 10 years now, which is unfortunate. That explains why I don't have volume 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21 in my collection, as personally, since this series is already on hiatus, I was thinking, is it worth collecting the other volumes? And now it's been like over five years now, and I feel like I should have picked the other volumes up, not gonna lie, as they are definitely hard to get. On to the next series you can see over here, I have paradise kiss and this is the 20th anniversary edition i wish i had the tokyo pop edition as i do like the singles however i'm just thankful that they did this anniversary edition as all five volumes in this one chubby book it's just it's just lovely <laughs> um but yeah this is a series that i really enjoyed if you want to hear more of my opinions i'll link my manga wrap up in the captions and yeah that is all for this brown bookcase filled with my favorite shoujos and some jose series and now on to my favorite manga shells. So this is where the fun begins. So at the top of my Billy bookcases, I have some box sets such as Tokyo Gold Re, Tokyo Gold, and Akira 35th Anniversary box set. So with those, I'm not gonna unbox them and show you guys what's inside, as I'm pretty sure you guys know what's inside, as I'm currently standing on a stool and I feel like this is a bit hazardous, but I'll link it in the cards above to show you guys my unboxings in some of my hauls. We'll start off the first row here with all my Japanese manga series. So the first series you see here is called Today We'll Start Our Love. This is also known as Dreis bei Eins Liebe in German. This is a series that's published in French and German. I'm not too sure if it's published in Spanish as well, but unfortunately this is not in English. Like I said earlier, all Minami Kanan's work is all in other languages except English. Personally, I feel like with her series, the reason why it's not published in English is probably because it's banned as her series are quite saucy in a way and they're quite controversial. If you read her series, you know what I'm saying. Saying. but this is a 15 volume series and I have that complete all the volumes is just pushed to the back and I'm just scared to touch it as these volumes tend to fall off once I move it the next series I have here is a five volume series and it's called that is not a child but a minor but yeah this is a short sweet romance as well by Minami Kanan next I have my favorite all-time series by Minami Kanan and that is honey x honey drops and this is an eight volume series super super smutty it it is my guilty pleasure series but um yeah i'm not gonna talk too much about that next we have is yakuza lover this is a recent series that i picked up and um i thought it was fitting to put it next to minami kanan as yakuza lover it is a bit saucy it is plastic wrapped you can see but yeah i do have some other japanese manga series at the back if you can see from the back we have is random walk so this is a free volume series that is complete by wataru yojizumi and if you heard earlier from what i mentioned her works is literally my favorite however a lot of my favorite series from her is only published in japanese next up top we have is gto this is also known as great teacher onizuka this is a 25 volume series and it is complete this series was published in english back in the day however it was done by Tokyo Pop, so you guys already know this is super out of print if you do find them on ebay or anywhere they're probably going for thousands of pounds right now but yeah this is a series that is super fun just think of a former gang member being your teacher you can imagine all the madness going on especially in class and that but yeah it has a bit of etchy and all that type of stuff i feel like gto is just a great series and hopefully one day maybe they will bring the series back in print but 
but we, d we don't know. This is definitely a series that I recommend everyone to read. However, like I said, it's just super hard to get. So behind GTO, there is another series by the same manga and that is Arisukata Junjo Boy, but currently I'm scared to even move these manga as I'm scared that they might drop. So next we have is Coffee and Vanilla. I'm pretty sure from the cover art, you can tell it is a smut romance. If you can't tell, I am into a lot of smutty series personally as th there's just a guilty pleasure of mine. But yeah, this is Coffee and Vanilla. Um, this is currently ongoing, but I only have about 17 volumes. I'm pretty sure that's up to date with Japan. Next we have is Honey Bitter. This is a 14 volume series that I have in my collection and it is complete. This is also a Jose series and the same manga as Kodocha, which I've mentioned Kodocha is one of my prized possessions in my collection. But yeah, this series is wonderful. It's full of mystery. And it's basically about this girl who has this power of seeing the future and she becomes a private detective but one thing she has is some baggage where she has her ex-boyfriend right here who she hates and she's working in a company for her auntie and her auntie accidentally hires her ex-boyfriend so yeah there's a bit of drama going on there I don't know if that makes sense but hopefully my explanation made some sense but yeah that is honey bitter Next we have is We Were There. This is a 16 volume series by Opata Yuki. And this is a shoujo romance, but to be honest, it's so mature in some ways. It does dive deep in some of the relationships. And I feel like out of a lot of the shoujos, this is more the realistic take on a romance. And even though it's set in high school, I feel like even as an adult, if you do read the series, this is published in English by the way, but it's just super hard to get at the moment. But if you do ever get a chance to pick it up on ebay i do recommend this is a series i feel like if you're a young reader you wouldn't understand it as much you probably get annoyed with certain things but as an older reader reading this it is it's just top notch i have to say lastly with my manga that is in japanese i have here is love monster this is a 12 volume series and it is complete in my collection this is fantasy romance supernatural harem shoujo like anything you can think of that is yokai and a bit of smut this is it i personally feel like this is very similar to blackbird so if you read blackbird and you enjoyed it you will enjoy this series as well yeah this is another guilty pleasure of mine but yeah on to my next shelf so on to my second row filled with my favorite romances we have first off Kami Sama Kiss so Kami Sama Kiss currently is incomplete in my collection as I do have a few gaps I'm currently missing four volumes I'm missing volume three five eight and 21 so um yeah four volumes I'm missing currently in my collection this is a completed series with 25 volumes as you guys know with Kami Sama Kiss lately it's been such a hard series to pick up but hopefully they'll do some reprinting soon as I definitely need these other four volumes as I don't want to pick it up digitally where to pay more but I might have to in the end but yeah this is one of my favorite shoujo series but next we have is shortcake cake this is a series by one of my recent favorite mankas Sue Morishita and this is a series that I have a few gaps as I'm currently collecting at the moment um, I haven't feel the need to finish collecting it at the moment as I'm waiting for more volumes to go cheaper in price next we have is a silent voice and this is a box set and this is a completed series with seven volumes this is a seinen series that i absolutely love that i feel like everyone should read this is a tearjerker and it, it's just a lot it's quite heavy in a way i do want to put a warning for this series since i mentioned this is a tearjerker it does dive in topics such as suicide depression bullying and all that stuff so it might not be a series that you'll be comfortable to read however i personally really really enjoyed this I cried my eyes out and this has to be one of the beautiful series I have read and um yeah definitely a series that I would reread so behind my box set I have the completed series of Demon Love Spell this is a six volume series and yeah it's a bit of smart it's a bit of shoujo and that you know what it is next we have is this this is <laughs> you know if you follow my live streams with the manga dudettes you guys know what we mean about these okay yeah i'm not going to show you the front cover because i'm pretty sure you guys know what that is and then i have a random volume of arjun which is the volume six that's another series that i love to collect however the volumes are just so expensive to pick up continuing on with my favorite romances we have is water koi and i currently have four volumes i think volume five is coming out later this month or the next month which i'm super excited 
excited but yeah this is a series that I haven't really read much I'm still reading volume one um it's quite text heavy and I feel like with what's cool you have to watch the anime first in order to understand the manga next we have is my favorite all-time seinen series and that is sweat and soap this is literally the best romance series that is out in the market currently the romance in this series and the characters is just so sweet I know it looks quite odd it is a smart series but this is this is hands down the best series I read so far this year and last year like this is the best romance series that I own in my opinion like so realistic and just mature like we just need a lot more mature romances in the community let's be honest as there's just so much shoujo romances that are set in high school that sweat and soap is just so different and it's so heartwarming like it's just a great mature romance that i recommend any reader to read if you're of age like if you're above the age of 16 i 100 percent recommend you this like whether you're a guy or a woman reading this series like whatever you are sweat and soap it's great it's great 100% recommend it I can't recommend it enough like even my boyfriend who doesn't read manga enjoyed this so I think that says a lot next we have is one of my recent favorite shoujo romances and that is Demon Prince of Moenchi House you can tell the art style is absolutely beautiful this is also a series that gets compared a lot to Kamisama Kiss right over here but yeah this is just a great romance I would give this series a solid 9 out of 10 so if you're looking for a new romance to read that has yokai elements 100% recommend men demon prince of momichi house and the art style is just stunning next we have up here which is covered by my fairy lights secretly i've been suffering about being sexless this is a great one shot that i recommend for any mature readers so the next series i have is a seinen series and that is the puff curry diaries this is a great series it's historical and it's just a lot of fun things that goes on like mao mao who is the main girl character here she's badass like she's ready to slap another bitch you know when she's ready oh like I was saying earlier, Mao Mao is a badass boss B. She is trained in herbal medicine and she basically helps out the inner palace with their troubles. But yeah, behind that I have, if you can see, is everyone's getting married. This is complete in my collection. I believe there's nine volumes. But yeah, it is a Jose series that I don't really recommend. It is good in a way, but at the same time, it is very rush rush in the ending. So out of all the Jose series that I talked today, I'll say everyone's getting married and butterflies flowers would be my least recommended next I have is after the rain this is a newer edition in my collection I do have all five volumes as well which you can see volume three as well and four and then five so from the art style you can tell after the rain has beautiful artwork and I'm just super excited to read this series since After the Rain is a new addition into my collection, I haven't read this series yet, so I don't have any opinions, but I know for sure I will enjoy this. You know when you pick up a series, you know you're gonna love it. I feel like After the Rain will be that. So yeah, this is a series that I'm planning to take to uni with me, so I will probably do a manga review or wrap up soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Next I have is The King's Beast by Ray Toma. So this is the only Ray Toma series I have in my collection. There are other series that she has, but but um, The King's Beast is the one that I know of and that I have collected. So yeah, this is a series that has got a bit of yokai in it and a bit of fantasy. This series does have a very similar settings to The Puff Curry Diaries where it's set in the historical times. However, currently I haven't been as invested in the shoujo series lately. So I'm not too sure what I continue picking up more volumes. I have enjoyed the series, but I feel like I'm enjoying more other series in my collection so far. So I might put this series on hold for now until I pick up volume 3 as I know volume 3 is currently out. Next we have one of my recent shoujo series that I love and that is Living Room Matsunaga-san. So with this series it does have an age gap but in my opinion it's done very respectfully so I don't mind that. And oh, also after the rain it's people say it's this age gap however it's more of this younger girl fancying older man just want to mention that <laughs> before I move on but yeah Living Room Matsunaga it's just such a fluffy read that if you want a fluffy romance series just just pick it up you can tell it's super fluffy with the art style and i just love the whole setting of a boarding house same as shortcake cake that is set in a boarding house but personally i've been loving living room matsunaga san a bit more probably because some of the characters in this series is a lot more older but yeah this is a series that i'm super committed to and it's currently ongoing 
Lastly from this row I have is Harry's Curse. This is more the recent Jose series that has been out and I'm so glad they released this. This series is basically about this couple where this girl's younger sister passed away unfortunately and she's dating her sister's fiance if that makes sense but I know it sounds a bit whack in a way and a bit messed up however once you read the series you'll know how beautiful this series is it's not sad in a way they've done it in an approach where it's quite fun to read and quite interesting there are sad elements of course there's a bit of grief but it's not sad where you want to cry if that makes sense it's sad in a way that you're like oh that's unfortunate but great great series and yeah, definitely recommend. Let me just flick through some pages so you guys can appreciate the artwork with me. But um, yeah, this is what it is. So on to my ongoing series row and some of my favorite shonen manga. So first off, let me just show you guys what I have on this shelf. So let me just move my Kuposket. I just love how all these Kodansha volumes look against each other. Definitely Kodansha is one of my favourite publishers. But yeah, so the first series I have here is The Witch and the Beast. So this is a new series that's another new addition to my collection. Um, I currently have volume 5 and 6 on the way. But by the time those volumes arrive, I will be in uni. So I'll probably haul it when I come back. But yeah, this is a series I'm super intrigued about. The art style looks very, very interesting. Let me just sort out my Perfect World volumes. So you probably notice when you put a manga on top, it stops it from falling down. So I'm going to do that temporarily. So I'm going to show you the art style for The Witch and the Beast. And this is a glossy page, by the way. So you can tell very very interesting the art style seems like it's a dark fantasy and i'm really excited to read this i think i might take this with me to uni as well hopefully this is a better angle but next we have is a sign of affection this is one of my favorite shoujo mangas that is currently out at the moment and that is ongoing the art style is so stunning and if you guys read this you guys know volume three whoo definitely my heart melt i'm telling you this whole series my heart has been melting but volume three really got me like wow this series is so beautiful next we have is perfect world and this is literally one of my favorite joseys that's out at the moment that's ongoing i'm so sad that this will be completing soon same as sweating soap as i don't know what i would be doing with my life once it goes complete i think i will have really bad withdrawal symptoms to be honest but yeah this is another relationship that deals with one partner having a disability and then i have volume seven which came out earlier this month but yeah next we have another ongoing series that I have picked up the other volumes of but it's just currently on the way and that is to your eternity next we have is Eniel and Dariella this is the same manga as Witch Hat Atelier and um, I haven't read this yet either but I'm excited but this is a completed series with three volumes and I just don't feel the urge to pick up volume two and three yet as this is quite a pricier series as it is published by Yen Press Next we have here is The Girl From The Other Side. So I only have volume three and four currently in my collection as this series is super hard to pick up at the moment as a lot of the volumes are out of stock. And on top of that, this series is super expensive as this retails for £10.99. On to my favorite shelf now, which is my favorite shelf out of my whole collection. This is my Shonen shelf, featured some other of my favorite series, which is Shoujo here, which is Wreck from the Rose King. But starting off on the left, we have is Blue Period. So this is an ongoing series at the moment that talks about passion, art. Next we have is Blue Flag. This series, I do have um, eight volumes of this. I'm currently missing volume three as volume three when I was collecting, it was just really expensive and it was just out of stock all the time, but I will pick up later on. I have read it on the Shonen Jump app, but I still haven't read volume six, seven, eight yet. So yeah, I need to read that soon to be honest. But yeah, this series, from what I've read so far from volume 5, I really recommend it. A lot of people have read the whole series and didn't really like the ending, but they still recommend the series. You can tell from the spines already, they are super beautiful right next to each other. But yeah, I wish I can show you the front cover arts as they're even better. But since this is quite jam-packed, I'm too scared to just take anything out. Next we have is Hell's Paradise. Maybe I can show you guys Hell's Paradise since this might be easier to take out. 
again. So next we have is Hell's Paradise. I'm currently missing volume 2 to continue reading this series. I wish I picked up volume 2 at Forbidden Planet, but we move, you know. But yeah, volume 1 of Hell's Paradise. Wow. All I can say is they don't hold back. This really goes deep. It is brutal. It's gruesome. If you're into graphic manga and just beautiful scenes and that stuff, 100% recommend. I'll show you just this page as it doesn't look too bad, but you can see the detail and the art style is absolutely stunning. Next we have is Parasite at the top. So I have volume one, two, three, and also four, five, seven, eight. I'm currently missing volume six. Next we have is my all time favorite series manga, and that is The Promised Neverland. So I do own all 20 volumes. As you can see, I put volume 20 as a main highlight cover and isn't that gorgeous it's so pretty but yeah this series is an absolute adventure out of all the manga series i've read i've put this as my number one so i think that says a lot if you do watch the anime only watch season one season two that one does not exist and we should not even talk about it i was saying but yeah definitely if you watch season one of the anime and you enjoyed it definitely don't watch season two just read the manga from volume four onwards just read the manga is absolutely stunning and this is actually quite easy to collect because i collect this all in one go in quite a short space of time and if you're in the uk you can pick this up at traveling man or blackwells for a really good price as well as yeah it's just decent next we have is my rec room shelf to be honest rohan should be down below as that's where my jojo collection is but um yeah we'll just keep rohan here isn't he gorgeous <laughs> so what i have here is requiem of the rose king i have all 13 volumes that is ongoing at the moment volume 14 is coming out this november and boy we've been waiting for a whole year for volume 14 to come out this series is a super slow release and it will be complete very soon personally for me i enjoyed reading recommend the rose king from the first volume it is so good like i don't know how to explain it but can you see all that darkness and the art style it gets better trust me as it goes on and i feel like even though you might be intrigued or enjoyed the first couple of volumes you are not ready for what's to come after volume seven because things go down and um it's, it's so hard to explain that's what i'm saying like people need to read this series to understand what i'm talking about next we have is a new addition to my collection and that is the cats of the louver 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 I think it's called Lova. Yeah, Cats of the Lova. This is by Tayo Matsumoto. This is recommended to me by On The Shelf. But yeah, this is a series since it's a new edition. I haven't read yet, but I like how the spine looks. But yeah, let me just move Rohan back. So this is the full throw of my Billy bookcases. And this is where I put all my Inio Sano works and my favorite slice of life series, which I'll show you, moving my Funko Pop away. So the first series I wanna recommend you guys to pick up and that is A Man and His Cat. This is one of my favorite series I have in my collection and the quality of this manga is so beautiful. Even the paper, the paper is not like normal paper. It is so thick in a way and it's the quality can you just hear it it just sounds so nice but you can tell from the art style like look how cute it is this is the grandpa and his kitty but yeah the sad part of the story that gets to me is that this man is a widower and before his wife passed away she always wanted a cat and now he has a chance to adopt a cat you just see how their life and their bond builds and grows as time goes on and this is such a beautiful series that 100 percent 10 out of 10 if you haven't read this yet, go read it. It's so worth it. Definitely get it on sale as well as these volumes are quite expensive. But at the same time, even though they look very thin, don't be fooled as this series is 100% worth every penny it did take me 45 minutes to read next we have some of my Ine Asano works which I haven't read yet um which I can't wait to dive into as well I have Dead Dead Demons Dead Dead, 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 Dead Destruction I have volume one three four five six nine very scattered as these volumes are pretty much pretty expensive next we have is Goodnight Pumpin and I do have this series complete 
all seven volumes. I really can't believe I have all seven volumes as I did pick this up in such a short amount of time. And yeah, this was breaking the bank, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I haven't read this yet. I will be doing a full on review and read with me later in the upcoming weeks as I will be taking this series up with me to uni. So we will go through the emotions together. So stay tuned for that. Also, I want to put a warning for this series. This series does dive into a very uncomfortable topics. So anyone that's dealing with mental health currently, um, I don't think this will be a good series for you as it might make you go into a deeper level of emotions that you probably don't want to feel at this moment of time. So right off the bat, we have a popular series right here, which is One Punch Man. And this is a series that I've had in my collection for more than five years now. And I still haven't touched it. I haven't read it. And um, I think it's going to stay like that for a few more years or maybe until I graduate from university and have some time to read it. Personally, I don't feel like the urge in reading it yet. So um, yeah, we're just gonna keep that there for now. If I do wanna pick up more, I can pick this up more really easily on Traveling Man as these volumes, I think they're going for like four pounds something now. So that is definitely a bargain compared to when this was first picked up. Next I have here is Fire Force, another series that you can see a big gaps from volume one to 10 to 15. These volumes, I got on offer and this volume was gifted to me by Gee Dreams. Next we have is Slam Dunk and this is a series that's been sitting in my collection for more than five years now and I still haven't read yet. This unfortunately is not complete in my collection. It is complete in general but I just haven't picked up the rest of the volumes as currently it's super hard to get the rest of the volumes but maybe one day I can complete this in my collection. This is an OG sports series that I absolutely love. I grew up watching Slam Dunk and my brothers as well like this is a series that we all love and um unfortunately i wish i picked up the rest of the volume sooner but it is what it is um but yeah that is slam dunk next we have is my prized possession and that is jojo bizarre adventure part three stardust crusaders my favorite jojo kujo jotaro you know Oh, he is the best. Personally, what I love about Stardust Crusaders is the characters. I love how Dio looks as well. Just everything is so OP with the stands. Like, I can't even, oh, I can't even describe it. Like, this is amazing. But yeah, this is a series that is a prized possession of mine. As normally you'll see this in the bigger, chunkier volumes. As they no longer do the single volumes like this anymore. And personally, I just prefer the single volumes as it looks so much better in my opinion. Just the spines all aligned and everything looks so good but I'll show you some pages but yeah this is oh can you see the art style how good this looks and yeah this is complete in my collection as it has only 16 volumes and yeah definitely recommend watching the anime on Netflix if you haven't checked out the series yet but yeah 100% best Jojo in my opinion, hands down. This community on my channel here, we can agree to disagree. So it's calm to have different opinions, okay? But um, yeah, next we have is Moriarty. This is another ongoing series that I love. If you guys don't know who Moriarty is, like me, I didn't even know who the bloke was before I even read this series, <laughs> but he turns out to be Sherlock's rival. And he's basically a criminal consultant where he wants to overthrow the upper class. So um, yeah, it's really, really interesting great series full of mysteries and I just love how it's set back in the day London in the Victorian times and these are the most recent volumes that came out recently and that's volume 3 and volume 4. Next is another series that is I think this is a seinen this is Astora by Naoki Urasawa. So Astora is my first ever Naoki Urasawa work and Wow, since I read this series, I do want to pick more of his series up, like Monster, 20th Century Boys. Yeah, his works is phenomenal. Volume 1 talked more about giving the background story of Astora. Volume 2 is where the plot starts, in my opinion. And um, I really enjoyed it. Volume 1, I enjoyed it loads. But Volume 2 is the one that sucked me in and wanting me to collect more of it. And yeah, this is the ongoing series. Volume 3 is currently out in the US, but in the UK, I think it's coming out later this month but yeah i'm definitely picking up volume three this is a great series and the quality of the manga is amazing it even has flaps and that but um let me just show you some of the quality of the art style definitely very different from what i'm used to but um the plot is just wonderful just 
pick it up, definitely. <laughs> so this is the fifth row and this is dedicated to my Oku volumes and currently I'm just missing volume 1 and 19 for this series to be complete. Volume 19 is coming out later this year and volume 1 is basically pretty much impossible to find. But yeah, I'm pretty much happy that I got a lot of these volumes as if you haven't seen in my haul, this was on my wish list for basically forever and I never thought I got the chance to basically pick the series up. And I'll, let me show you just what the series looks like the volumes are absolutely beautiful the covers are exactly like the death note black editions what i love about the details of the volumes is at the back of the flap they have some type of art style here and it's just stunning but yeah this series i do want to put a warning as it is for the more mature reads and the way it is written it is written in olden day english so that might be a turn off for some of you guys if you want to read this series as reading olden day English may take a lot more time than usual compared to reading like normal day English right now. So um, yeah, there is a lot of these and that. Next with this row, I have some seinen series. So I have Witch Hat Atelier. So this series, I do compare it a lot to Harry Potter and Studio Ghibli. If you have read this series, you would know what I mean as the art style is so beautiful. It really reminds me of Ghibli a lot. And um, let me just show you this, just this page. You can tell there's a lot of detail and yeah, definitely the covers are beautiful for this series. One of my favorite covers would have to be this cover, which is volume six. Next, we have a series that's published by Vertical and that is My Boy. This series is quite slim and I am up to date with the volumes. With this series, it does have some elements of child neglect and um, yeah. Next we have is Comey Can't Communicate. I have volume ones to eight. This is a series that I have to be in a certain mood to read. Next we have is Not Your Idol. This series is currently on hiatus. So I'm not too sure if any of you guys would wanna read this series since it's on hiatus but i'll say it's a, it's a decent show joe next is golden kamoi so this is currently very gappy in my collection as the volumes are quite hard to get specifically volume two i feel like i have to break an arm and leg to get volume two but even if i do break an arm and leg i still don't think that's enough for volume two as i haven't really seen it anywhere i haven't seen anyone selling it or any stores have restocked so um yeah volume two is currently very hard to get at the moment next we have is kaguya summer lovers wall so currently I have only volumes one to five and um, I'm pretty content with just five volumes so far I think probably once I read after five volumes I might look into collecting more of the volumes next we have one of my all-time favorite shonen series that's out at the moment and that is Spy X Family and I have about to volume five which is up to date so we have reached the last shelf of my manga collection so you can see I do have some series that are complete and some are not so this this is Attack and Tie and Colossal Editions. I have the first five Colossal Editions. Um, volume six, I think it's coming out later this month as well. Definitely so many volumes are coming out later this month, which I need to save a bit of money for and be prepared as I would like to continue to be up to date for some of my ongoing series. But yeah, volume six will be coming out very soon. And I think the last Colossal Editions will be volume seven. Next, I have the completed Black Editions of Death Note. This is a series that... <laughs> I can't wait to read, I always say that, however, since it's very text heavy, I do feel very anxious from reading it. I don't know if you ever feel that. But yeah, next we have is Yona the Dawn, so these are all the volumes I own. This I've mentioned in a lot of my hauls, this is quite hard for me to collect as a lot of the volumes are quite hard to pick up at the moment as it's such a popular shoujo series. Like this series, 100% recommend any readers to read this. It's got political, historical, fantasy elements, romance, like everything that you want in a series and I really don't think it's just for shoujo readers I feel like any readers can read this it's, it's just great in my opinion however collecting the volumes it is a bit of a pain in the butt because it is a very super ongoing series like currently we have 31 volumes that's out and you can see the gaps I have with the lower volumes like with the 20s it's getting better but with the earlier volumes like it, it's just really hard for me to collect at the moment and over on to my left which is the last manga series that i have on this shelf is prince freya cutie and the beast and we swore to me in the next life and that's when things got weird definitely a long title you know you probably already heard all my opinions for these series that sat in the corner why i would like to unhaul them in either my manga wrap-ups where i mentioned are these series worth picking up 
but yeah personally these are series that I haven't really got on well with in my collection Prince Freya definitely that can that can go to a better home than mine in my opinion but um yeah that is it for my manga collection that's a wrap so we have finally reached the end of my manga collection video and I hope you guys enjoyed this this definitely took way longer than I expected to film as this took seven hours to film my whole collection and oh, that is just crazy you know I hope my efforts paid off and that you guys enjoyed it and yeah let me know down below in the comment section if you have any opinions about my series that I have in my collection whether you like them or you don't like them or even if you have any suggestions that you'd like me to add in my collection I'd love to know all your opinions down below in the comments and yeah if you're new here subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a like you know and also comment and I just want to say a big thank you for the love and support you have given me on this channel and yeah i'm gonna go now have a great day stay blessed keep on staying healthy and i'll see you guys next week bye